Wire. I'm just going to get started and everything else. And, uh, after DeAndre obviously started last season, you can see the leadership start to come out. You can see him really assuming the role and um, uh, being acknowledged as that guy, but not only you know, from the offense, but really from the rest of the team. Obviously, his understanding is much better. He's played 13 games now, so he should understand what what it takes to win games. And once you have played and once you've been in the battles, it's easier to make practice like a game because you understand what it's really like. And once you once you start doing that, it's, you have a chance to make a lot of a lot of improvements quickly. What's the thing that you've tried to work with him the most, like maybe mechanically or you know just uh, seeing the field? Well, I, I think he sees the field pretty well. I, I think mechanically he's very sound. You know, we always work on the feet, fun, just the base fundamentals, uh, uh, having your platform ready to throw because what he does with his upper body and his actual arm motion, is, there's no reason to tweak with that. Um, as he improves, he learns more and more about where to put his eyes, when to put your eyes there, things like that. So, uh, one, you're seeing what you need to see, but two, you're not staring things down and moving defenses to it. So, that, that's the things we're working on right now as much as anything else is just trying to maintain the fundamental of his feet, but getting better and better with his eyes and anticipating. Also anticipating when the hits are coming in too, how can he better prepare himself to either check down or, or look for, for another option for taking that hit? Well, he's got to be ready to find the check downs and, and we got to get the check downs out. You know, the check downs have got to be where they're supposed to be. And it, 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 there's a lot of things going to not taking hits. One is obviously the quarterback seeing things and getting, getting rid of it. Obviously, protection goes into it quite a bit, but also people wearing, being where they're supposed to be. Uh, and, and all that's easy to say, but there's certain times where you're going to get hit. You know, and you got to go to stand in there and take it. And um, that was one of the pleasant surprises about DeAndre last year because our guys don't get hit in practice. So seeing him being willing to stand in there and do it over and over and over and then displaying the toughness he displayed was, was really a pleasant surprise. Last year, when he would run, sometimes he would take and try to lower that shoulder to get the extra yard. Have you worked with him on maybe trying to slide a little bit more, better decisions on that? Well, sure. You know, I, I think also there were certain times last year uh, people appeared on him that he didn't expect sometimes when he was running the ball and he didn't have time to protect himself from being on the ground. Um, but I, I think he'll be better at that. Uh, you know, he's never, he's never run the ball very much in high school. And, is actually a pretty good runner with the ball, but he's got to get used to seeing things while he's running. It's one thing to see things from the pocket. You know, everybody thinks about a quarterback's vision, but a back or, or a runner has that vision to see things in his Sometimes guys would appear on him that surprised him when he was running the ball last year. The more he's able to see him and, and do that, the better he'd be able to protect himself. Uh, this receiving group, it seems like, I'm sorry, the receivers, it seems like you got a lot of talent with Tate and Jimmy just had you see that? Well, I, I've been really excited about what they've done so far. You know, you know those guys have played, so now they, they know what it takes, they know what it's like, and um, they both have ability. They both have a lot of ability to make plays. So you throw Keith Gavin in the mix and what he's been able to do so far. Um, I, I know I'm leaving somebody out, hopefully getting George Campbell back healthy. Uh, and some other guys, you know, I think we have a chance to be a pretty dynamic receiving group. Right? And we got a quarterback that can get it to him. you got guys that can get open, it, it sure, sure makes the passing game a whole lot better. And, uh, I like what I've seen out of those guys this first few days. In addition to the wide receivers, you also have two tight ends that have, you know, had major snaps over the past three years of Ryan Izzo and Maven Saunders. Just how nice is it for a quarterback to have that kind of security blanket with guys that they've worked with since they've been here? Well, the tight ends, like I said, they're a great security blanket, but our guys, they're not only are they a security blanket for somebody to check down to or whatever, but they can attack the field. They can attack down the field. They do a good job running. I think you throw Trey McKitty into the mix and, and a couple other, you know, uh, the Sear Upshur. And, and Alexander Marshall, I think we've got a chance to be pretty dynamic and tied in. Um, the more weapons a quarterback has around him, the better, the easier your job is. If you got receivers, if you got tight ends, um, if you got running backs, which we're you know, a little inexperienced for the most part running back, but we're pretty talented at running back too. It makes that quarterback's job much easier. You know, when, when you, you, know, you can 
you throw it down the field, but when you check it down, you still have a chance for big plays because you got guys that can catch and run.